Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying decimals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here item number 1, 0.67 times 0.4. We will start with this. First, we will copy the given decimals. We have 0.67. We will write them vertically. Times... 0 0.4. In multiplying decimals, there's no need for us to align them based on their, on their decimal position. Okay. So instead of multiplying it directly, I will convert first these decimals into whole number. So what we have here, 0 0.67, we will eliminate the decimal places. It will become 67. And then this 0 0.4, we will convert this into a whole number, and that is 4. Again, this is my technique for today's video, wherein we will multiply these decimals as whole numbers. And then later on, we will proceed with the final answer. So what's next? After this, we have 4 times 7, that is equal to 28. We have here 8, and carry 2. Next, 4 times 6, which is equal to 24, plus 2, that is equal to 26. Now, this is not the final answer. What we need here is to count the number of decimal values or decimal places from the original decimals. So we will count 1, 2, and then 3. So again, we have 3 decimal places, 1, 2, and 3. So what we need to do here is to convert this, this whole number, into a decimal using the three decimal places. From this point, we will count three decimal places. We have one, two, and three. Ibig sabihin guys is that our answer here is 0 0.268. And that is the answer in multiplying 0 0.67 and 0 0.4. We have 0 0.2. 6, 8. This is our answer for item number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. First, we will convert this into a whole number. We have 54 times, we will also convert this into a whole number which is 27. So we will multiply them manually. 4 times, or 7 times 4 is 28. We have your 8. And then carry the 2. 7 times 5 is 35 plus 2, that is 37. Followed by 2 times 4, that is equal to 8. 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. So what we need to do here is to add them. 8, 7 plus 8 is 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 plus 0 is 4. And then bring down 1. So what we need to do here, same with question number 1. We need to count the number of decimal values or decimal places. We have 1 and 2. So starting here, we will count 1 and 2. Therefore, the correct answer is, sorry, you can see the writings here. We have 14.58. So we will write here 14.58. That is the answer when you multiply 5.4 by 2.7. So, I hope you guys should learn something from this video. As your task, I want you to answer this. So, I will give you decimal value, which is 1. This is number 3, huh? 1.25 times 3.33. I hope na makita ko sa ating comment section what is the answer when we multiply these two decimal values. So, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!